Hello my friends, you may have noticed that the normal noon video slots have been suspiciously absent recently. Particularly, it happened right after I made the We Need More StarCraft 2 Modders video. Well, that's because after posting that video, I got almost 200 DMs from people. There were established modders, up and coming ones. People who want to get into it, and people who want to help out in any way they can but don't want to work with the editor, and more. It was a lot of work to get through, and I'm still not done with it all. But it was a bit of a wake-up call. The current system works, but there's so much more that I could be doing for the scene. So here's what I'm going to do about it. First up is for the prospective modders, people who want to create but don't quite have the skills with the editor to do so. The first thing is a bit time sensitive. The Real Rhyme, maker of Real Scale Wings of Liberty, Nightmare Edition, and other mods, is going to do an introductory live stream for working with the StarCraft editor tonight. This is happening at 5 p.m. Pacific time right after my stream ends. A link to his YouTube channel is below. It is a YouTube stream, so it is going to be rewatchable and rewindable. However, a couple live streams is not going to be enough. So past that, Rhyme and I have decided that we're going to make some proper scripted introduction to StarCraft II editor videos. Those will serve as a solid basis for people who are interested in working with the editor so they can jump into their own projects. The second thing I need to do is mobilize those who are looking to help out. That comes in many forms, be it actually assisting in the creation of mods without using the editor, or a really important one that we're going to need more of is alpha and beta testing. People who are willing to play unfinished products and give feedback to the modders about their creations. As of right now, I don't have a solid plan on how I'm going to coordinate these things. Ideally, the solution that I come up with allows me to link modders to mod makers without a whole lot of overhead on my part. Otherwise, I'll just run out of time and be unable to do anything else forever. After making the We Need More Modders video, I was expecting a few responses from a couple of modders who had some cool ideas about things they wanted to make. But this reception has been so crazy with the number of people motivated to create that I realize that I'm currently the bottleneck slowing everything down. I have to make sure that there's a good system for people to easily connect and create without jumping through a ton of hoops. So keep your eyes out in the next coming weeks for videos that will detail how you, if you're interested in getting involved in these types of things, can do so. I really do apologize for the lack of content on this channel as a result, though. I'm hoping to have this all sorted out enough by the end of today that I can resume normal archives production by tomorrow. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace!